This is a long loading screen. Hello. Fucking hell, that was the longest loading screen in the game so far, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hello. What do you sell? Probably get a oh, guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need some, uh, at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrapper sap. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral. Thanks <laughs> to you. I was. That's this good. Close. That's a good one. We we're gonna move on. Leave all this nonsense behind and you. Oh, you're gonna feel so happy to see me uh, once I get this shit for what you. What noodle idea? It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. Uh, Moreland? So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was, it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. He bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the the salvage from this blasted place. Blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. Not this time, motherfucker. Oh god, it opened up a whole bunch more dialogue. I didn't. I thought he was just going to be a shop. Is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, premium ale, the works. Moreland will do his his light spectacle. I hope we get thing. to see this uh, show Stemmer. ourselves. His eyes are sparkling with his tails and. I'll be selling tickets. Because, <laughs> like, obviously we're going to get them the shit, right? So, yeah. I would really like to see this show. It sounds cool. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, uh, Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions. Yeah, gigs, you've told us this like three times now. <laughs> cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Maybe four. Keeps them enthralled. The tales of adventure. The smoothest baritone. <laughs> yeah. He does seem pretty smooth. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two. Eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, the Delve. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. He nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I have. <laughs> right, what have you got to trade? I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. Warrior bow. They're very short range. Bolt blaster. It's got plasma. Could get that. I'm not a... I mean, the bolt blaster's alright. 
not a huge fan of it, but plasma. We do not have plasma. I think we should get that. Yeah. Buy and equip. Uh, should we replace the regular bolt blaster with it? Because this does electricity too, right? Let's do that. Uh, looks kind of meh. <laughs> like, it's very awesome. Like, it looks how it should look, but I don't like how it looks. <laughs> so, no thank you. Uh, we've still got 13 packs. We don't really need any more. Cheers. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. Wow. Rude, my dude. Rude. An ammo that deals plasma damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies. See if they're weak to plasma. Yeah. Shoot glow blast canisters with plasma arrows to detonate them. Sweet. Okay. Right, I forgot that they're incredibly expensive. <laughs> they require two of the things I only have 25 of. Get away from this place. Or actually, no. It's not that I only have 25 of them, is it? It's that I can only well, carry 25 at once. Good thing that Aloy showed up. And I probably have a lot more in storage. Or maybe not a lot more, but I have some more in storage, I think. We'll um, see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counter's move became. Can I upgrade... No, it will only let me talk to him. He's too close to the upgrade bench. Oh, well, let's... Can I talk to you? The stout-hearted huntress approached. Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. And the delve was at its direst. That's, uh, quite the introduction. Hmm. Maybe, uh... Maybe a little internal rhyme instead. A maiden arose from the very sands that bore our woes. Nah, too trite. What is it with you and all the uh, words? He's a storyteller. That's what I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well-earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. Your surname is Wordsmith, all right. Morland? How did you end up following Morland out here? Bright-eyed Morland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the hearts of men were sure to follow. So you admire him? Admiration is but a gentle fire. It's the spark the delvers and tinkers and rogues alike are sure to warm to. Okay, guess that answers something. Your friend over there doesn't like me too much. The loud one. The old bee counter has the personality of a mossy rock. <laughs> but oh, what a wicked mind for money memory as long as life or even the smallest debt uh, by that he means he owes me shards 147 to be exact but as sharp as he was in things pecuniary he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith saved his hoary hide 147 <laughs> 147 wordsmith what exactly does a wordsmith do? He smiths uh, words. <laughs> tinker at the forge. A wordsmith hammers out words to entrance all who hear them. The young, the old, and frequently the inebriated. <laughs> I didn't take the Osram for storytellers. I really like this well, dude. They say the only thing makes a cold brew go down easier is a tale of times gone by. But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Why? Why is that? <laughs> oh, well, the awesome can get mighty agitated if they run out of drink, or if they don't like your story. Dangerous trade. So you're saying being a wordsmith can be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way, Asurum will throw stuff at you. What, like fruit? More like chairs or grenades. But the veteran wordsmith persevered through it all, hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he got. How do you think we got here all the way from the claim anyway, past those blasted machines? It wasn't by talking. I really like him. He's great. Got to go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, the huntress went forth. His face kind of reminds me of my granddad. <laughs> like, not the personality. Granddad was not a wordsmith, but... His face kind of looks like a slightly younger version of my granddad. What can I do for you, partner? Sadly, no longer with us, but does does I don't know it's just something about it it's not like a one for one it's just something about it really looks like similar somehow I don't know what it is but it makes me like him I've got the parts I've got everything I need to build the uh the incredible diving mask I think diving mask is enough I won't quibble the workbench is all yours sick Okay, so, uh, we should definitely upgrade this, and of course, we need clamber jaw tail dusters for the next level. I don't think I've ever heard of a clamber jaw before. Uh, wait, what else is that? Um. The Tripcaster, which, I mean, I don't really care about, but maybe we should just do it. That also requires Clamberjaw, okay. Uh, oh shit, have I got the stuff for, oh, I've got the stuff to do this, nice, nice. Oh my god, I can do this as well. Plus 65% draw speed for that. Very nice. Okay, so now it's just snap more and shell snapper. Six shell snapper things. Okay, so that's not going to happen. But nice to have. What was this? Piercing sharp shot bow? Oh, this got given to us from something else, didn't it? Ah, I'm probably not going to use that. Uh, still don't have what we need for that. Claw Strider and Sunwing. Alright, here we go. The Diving Mask. A special breathing apparatus that enables diving to extreme depths. We've been waiting for that for a long time. a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights are. Oh, we're gonna drain it. Turn to sea life. There was this flash of red, and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light, from a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. <sighs> or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. Are there going to be any underwater monsters? Like, that we have to, do we have to do any underwater fighting? Okay, time to see if this thing works. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure we're going to drain this place because he asked for his diving mask back if we if it works. But, like, obviously we're not going to give it back because we need it. Which means that the only way he's going to get down there is if the place is no longer flooded. So, we'll find a way to get the I'm thinking I that will. Uh, Optimism. It's will be. Great. Right up until the point you stumble into a machine's jaws. Pessimism. It may save your hide, but it'll never save your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found he had lost the war of words. <laughs> I'll stuff a cog in it, Stemmer. Yes, that's why I think we're going to drain it. Okay, let's see. Is it infinite or is it just really long? Let's go. <gasps> There's no bar. It's infinite. Yes. Yes, it's infinite. Oh, thank you, God. I can actually breathe down here. Oh, thank fuck for that. That's brilliant. That is so good. Oh. Oh. Love to see it. What is this shit? Diving mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm a happy boy. I'm a very happy chappy. This is gorgeous. Fucking holographic coral reefs. Whoa. Stanley Chen, looking back. Las Vegas, May 4th, 2060. 20 years ago this week, Stanley Chen broke ground on one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history, even though many Americans didn't want him there. As he struck his spade into the barren soil, the CEO quipped how resentment against Chinese political influence had turned Vegas into a boiling hotbed of nationalistic sentiment, but how his immense fortune had cooled that down, finally warming Americans to his idea of a new Las Vegas. Who would have believed at the time that he would become one of the most beloved figures of the clawback era? But Stanley Chen has always been one to defy the odds, literally. In 2035, during a meeting with potential investors at the old Tempo Hotel, Chen watched in horror as his water filtration startup drowned before his very eyes, realising too late that his once trusted lawyer had sold critical patent info out to the competition. The resulting chain reaction of busted deals wiped him out, leaving him with only 88,000 to his name. Oh damn man, I'm so sorry to hear that. Only 88,000 to your name? Tough times. Tough times. Devastated, Chen decided to leave his future to fate. He went to the casino floor and placed all 88k on a roulette wheel. Number 8. It hit. The resulting 37 to 1 payout netted him ne nearly 3.2 million. Enough to rejuvenate his dreams of starting a successful business. That is insane. I, like, who the fuck does that? You've just lost almost all of your money. Well, I say that. I mean, 80, uh, like I was just joking. 88k is still a fucking huge amount of cash. But imagine putting... 88,000 on a 1 in 37 chance. What? He threw himself back into his work, eternally thankful for his lucky new lease on life. Like, you can do a lot with 88k. Like, it's not life-changing money. Like, you're not going to be, you know, you're still going to be going to work every day. But you've got a fucking lovely safety net and you can afford to splash out a little bit. Like, that is a huge amount of risk. Five years later, it wasn't Chen that needed saving, but Vegas itself. The hot zone crisis had strangled tourism. Years of ever-increasing heat had dried out the country completely. Water, in critical demand everywhere, was now too expensive to import. Abandonment seemed to be the only option. The City of Lights was about to go dark forever. But Stanley Chen wouldn't let that happen. In five years of incredible success, he had turned 3.2 million into 200 billion, selling water filtration technology that... Data corrupted. Jesus Christ. 200 billion. That is a disgusting amount of money. Where it started. Oh, it's a text log. Uh, a audio, rather. <laughs> Not a text log. It started right here, more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called a temple. One big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen. What did he do here? 
Are you able to talk with that thing on? <laughs> Are you not gripping that between your lips? To, like, keep the oxygen flow coming? I don't know. Hmm. I guess, I guess she is. Oh, it's pretty. I just really hope there's no fucking... I really hope there's no fucking uh, underwater combat. Because <laughs> I feel like that could get irritating. Because it's kind of... It's not hard to maneuver around, but it's like sluggish to maneuver around underwater. So I don't know, I don't know if underwater combat would really be doing anyone any favors. God, that makes me jump when it fucking flashes like that. Nothing else to scan. Doesn't appear so. That looks like a way out. This hiding's down here somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Here, beside side, side, side. Here, side, 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 side. Oh fuck! Okay, there's no way I can fight that thing underwater. Cool. Okay, so there's no underwater combat. Good. But we do have to not get hit by it, I guess. This place is massive. All of it's encased in a dome. Yeah, apparently. There's that red light. Are we, like... It's telling me to go over this way, but, like, wasn't the red light where to go? Okay, that was what I was thinking of. Red light. Alert. Critical flooding detected. Automatic drainage controls off alert. Retrieve this purge and drain Critical flooding detected. I can fight that big machine. Automatic drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump modes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. I do this purge and drain all the water, and fight that big machine on dry ground. Nice! have to reset a couple of pump modes first. That's what I was saying. There should be an access point for the first node to appear. That's what I was saying above ground, that there's gotta be a... There's gotta be a, um... A drain thing that happens. Oh god, there's more. There's the access point. Somehow didn't see me. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. Anything to scan? No. Aha. I can't reach the ledge from here. I need something like my corner to get out. Can I climb this? The Lumir Grand Incident. The primer note shut down now. I think the last time I was down here was during the Lumir Grand Incident. A malfunction led to an overflow of detergent in the pipes. Suds rose from every fountain. As we frantically tried to fix it, I looked up and saw everyone in the lobby chasing bubbles the size of basketballs, young and old alike. Another magical moment in the impossible city. What am I missing? How do I get up here?
I can't use my bow or anything. Wait, can I swim? Oh, I see. I see, I see. Is this crazy when they get out here? Gimme. Nothing else, just that. Just that. Okie doke. Beep, bop, a root, bop, a bop, bam, boop. There. One node down. Let me swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Wait, that was not the way to go. <laughs> where, where am I? Oh, back through the tunnel? What is the map? The second node should be on the other side of the door. Don't see me. Should get me to the second one. Okay. Somehow, somehow, still stealthy. He's the most still stealth. Da 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 da. Stealth son. Same again under here. Yeah. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains had been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, two. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. Indeedy. Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge to the maintenance station. And then we drain the city, drain it dry. According to the map, the maiden stations should be at the south end of the dome. You didn't see anything. Of light in that tower. Let's look at the console I found earlier. That the red light went out station. when I got close. <laughs> Looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Yoink! That's our second ever green shine cluster. I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Damn, that's some impressive force to be applying underwater. 
when everything moves a lot more slowly. <laughs> One final walk. System shutdown's almost done. Only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it slides out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The Odyssey will be well on its way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets here. Still, my last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was... Interesting. Yeah. He's probably still around then. The Zenith. But he did so much for this place. He... He doesn't sound like the others. I wonder if he's the dude in charge. We know nothing about the dude in charge. There should be a console in here. That would be very interesting. I feel like the dude in charge has to be someone we've heard of at some point. You know? machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome and once I get past it I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door Poseidon cool all right that feels like a pretty good stopping point for today is that a replica of the Eiffel Tower <laughs> I mean it stops right there obviously but that looks like a replica of the Eiffel Tower doesn't it am I am I <laughs> going insane uh very pretty. Very, very pretty. Very, very cool. So, I guess next time we might be getting Poseidon. I don't know how long this section will be. Like, so far getting Aether was a lot longer, right? We had to do everything with the Chief. We had to go and sort out the Sky Clan. We had to fight stuff around there. We had to destroy their Bulwark. We had to actually do the Kulrot and everything. So, if we... I feel like there might be some more to it, because otherwise it will mean that the Poseidon one was like quite a lot shorter than the Ether one, but that, that might just be what they felt like doing. They don't all have to be the same length at all, so we shall see. We shall see. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks for watching. See you then.